So I wanted to show some of the strategies that I outlined in the previous video while playing an actual game of um, an actual game of Battleship. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, these ones here, you can turn the the ship sideways. I'm going to use a couple of different strategies. First off, I'm going to try and avoid the middle. I'm going to put two ships next to each other here. And then for the rest of them, I'm going to try to keep them separated. Pretty separated here. Um, this one I'm going to stick way up there in the top corner. And then this guy kind of off to the side there. There we go. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and play some Battleship. Now in this version of Battleship, if you get a hit, you go again until you get a miss. And I've never heard of that rule before, but that's fine. So I'm going to start again. With this checker pattern board, it's kind of nice. You can actually see the, the diagonal. So I'm going to start right around the middle. And I missed. And he missed. Also, I'm, I'm playing against a computer, so it doesn't really matter if it sees patterns that I'm following, but I'll try and show you how I might make it look random while keeping patterns going. So maybe up here. Oh dear. Alright, so next turn he'll get to go until he, he sinks a ship. So that's not great news. Oh good, I hit one of his. So I get to go again until I miss. You saw that, so I've sunk his frigate and he's sunk mine. That's what they call that ship, I guess. All right, so now I'm going to continue on my diagonal patterns. All right. Oh my, that was lucky. Oh. I sunk his minesweeper, which is the smallest one, that number two. So that means I don't need to do the angle um, diagonals exactly next to each other anymore. I can use a little bit of a wider um, range of diagonals, which is fantastic. All right, so let's start out with just making some angles. I go here. And by going there, oh. Hopefully he misses. Oh, good. Um, by going here, I've blocked off, you know, three is the smallest his ship can be. So I blocked that off. This one here would eliminate any possibilities in there. Um, I can also now start skipping two and going forward. See that? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Wow, my battleship's taking a, taking a hit there. That's not good. All right. Let's go on. Frustrating. I missed them. Hopefully. Now he is either three, four, or five. So I know five could fit here and it could fit there, so I don't really have much of a. No, that's too bad. So he's three, four, or five, so he has to be there. And it could be just three there, but I'm going to try going on this side. Got rid of his aircraft carrier. Nice. 
Oh, I get to go again. Okay. Well, I'll start filling out my diagonals. That's not good. Oh dear. What? Oh, that was pretty, pretty lucky of him, I think. All right, let's continue looking at this. So normally my diagonal would go straight like that, so. Oh, nice. All right. Ooh, so he put his ships right next to each other, too. Sunk the battleship. All right. So we've got one ship left, and it's three. <laughs> I'm so lucky. I've noticed I'm just continuing on the patterns. So it could be this way or this way, or it could be down there. I'm going to hit that one. Because statistically, there were more chances for it to be up and down, and... There we go. We won. Yay! All right. So let me kind of. All right. So I just press the go to next game just to, to get rid of the the loud military music in the background. But you kind of saw how that worked. The strategy of using the angles to find his ships. Now in this game we were told up here which ships had been sunk so um, putting ships next to each other probably wasn't the best strategy because he'd know exactly what he found but did you notice that he sunk the one um, the one they called the frigate I think and and they left he left the world alone over there and went on to do something else so having it next to it actually provided a little bit of safety for the submarine so that was kind of nice alright so the strategy of, of separating them apart kind of seemed to work and the strategy of putting them together using those diagonals and that's how you win a game of battleship hope that was helpful for you have a great day